Hello and welcome to Epic Fantasy Gaming. I'm Joe, here with me is my co-host Dan. Hello and greetings. And our third host, Jet. Say something uh, to the nice uh, folk viewing our video, Jet. Meow. Okay, I said Jet, not Dan. But nice meow. Um... No, he just wants his rear padded. Village of the Elves. Today we're just going to get through the Elves. Yeah. Uh, and Valerie, I guess. You could do her voice. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Death. 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 That's enough. Listen to me. <laughs> Uh, she's a bombshell, so no. Death, no. Death. I'm having some respect. <laughs> I'm trying to find. Uh... Just do a feminine voice. Death enough. Death enough. Listen to me. How dare you be so insulting? Okay, that's better. It's a bit like Cleo, but screw it. I don't mind. Listen, listen. You say I didn't know that you humans could talk. So what, have you, what do you have to say? Have you thought of a good way of exterminating us? With your tiny minds? That's right. Quanda is planning something truly frightening. Not only is he going to wipe you out, he's planning to burn down this entire forest. This forest that also happens to be my home. Alright, you can do the village elder. You humans are too stupid to realize such a task. Hey, lock this one up. It's the first time I've seen an elf depicted with a beard. That's so weird. Oh. All right, just go forward. It's, we, I don't think we can actually shop. Okay. You could do her. Here, let me get this, the controller, because the dog's tangling himself up in it. Yeah. Okay. You do yourself being a... Oh, Kirkus, why did you leave me alone? I was lonely. Uh, maybe with an accent. Oh, Kirkus, why did you leave me alone? I was so lonely. I did not. I did not mean to leave you alone. Uh, excuse me for my voice. I'm a little under the water. How terrible! Going off alone. You should have taken louder. How terrible! You shouldn't. You shouldn't have gotten gone alone. You should have taken me with you. Was it fun, fun outside? outside? Nay, I mean I didn't go out to play. You know, I didn't take you because I didn't want you in danger. Of course. All right, we have to talk directly to Z. Uh, genocide desiring... No, he... Suicidal! Elf. Yes. Gerkes, why did you leave without my permission? What did you do out there? Went swimming. <laughs> Technically true. Yeah. There are humans who are fighting the Empire, too. I left to get help from the Liberation Army. As they call themselves. To protect the village of the elves. Protect this village? What are you talking about? We don't need humans help to protect ourselves. It's true that at one point, Quanda's men had the upper hand, but they're humans after all. They've been behaving themselves recently. But... Shut up, Kerkis. You left the village without permission and dared to return with filthy humans. Lock them all up! Yes, sir. Ugh, what? Why? Why, Grandpa? Why are you arresting Karkis? Because Grandpa, like, gave up knitting and needs a hobby. Stallion's yours. Well, if it isn't chicken, how did Karkis, who turned and ran when he found out the Imperial Army was attacking? I actually really like that. Yeah, he's, he's, he's essentially a speedster, so... Do it louder next time? Oh, no, not, not again. Just 
slightly louder as always, but like, mm -hmm. damn, bro, like, sorry, I had to geek out. You're now. I wish Stallion had a bigger role, mm -hmm. just so you could do that voice again. <laughs> hey, don't you come and buck me, Stallion? The fastest pair of feet in the village, didn't you know? You should have seen how fast I ran when Quanda attacked. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Sorry, but it, yeah, that's actually how the characters typically behave around Stalin. It's like, pardon? <laughs> yes, yes. There are characters where I've seen a couple of cartoons and animes where here it is a character that that talks very fast, very fast. He's probably the same archetype as like Bart Allen and uh, mm -hmm. um, Wally West. It's like well, maybe not Wally West. I've right. seen a couple of French cartoons where here it is the character spoke really fast. Yeah. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? Liberation Army, come to help the elves. I guess we're all fools here. That's an Imperial uniform. Yep, yeah, I was a fool too. I risked my life to betray the Empire. And look at me now. How stubborn these elves are. They refuse to believe what I know. So what is it you know? Oh, that, the man in charge of the region is the great general, Quanda Rothman. He has commissioned a horrible weapon to exterminate the rebellious elves. Horrible weapon? What is it? I'm not sure, but it's called the Burning Mirror. They say it can burn down an entire forest in an instant. Not only the elves, but the village where I was born. That's why I came. I wanted to warn the elves of this danger so they could prevent the Burning Mirror's completion. And before you knew it, you were in this prison. No, we're not gonna do it again. Okay. Um. Creek. Who is it? Sylvina. Oh, Grandpa said I should not come here, but I have to ask. Ask what? Great, I sound like Sylvina there. Tell me, Karkiv, why are you hung, so hung up on humans? Humans act big, yet they're dead after only 50 years or so. Okay, say the last part like it's the most obvious thing in the world. Humans act big, yet they're dead after only 50 years or so. I like a bit of the confusion in your voice. Why bother with such lowly creatures? Dead after only 50 years or so? What an awful thing to say. Listen to me, Sylvina. It's true that humans dislike elves and dwarves. We look down on humans. The dwarves detest us, isn't it? Isn't that not sad? After all, what's the true difference between us? Why can we not get along? I just don't understand it. It's very sad. Kerkev, I'm sorry, Kerkev. I don't understand what you're saying. I just can't. I just cannot trust humans, and dwarves scare me. But, but, I'll believe you. I'll believe whatever you believe. I'll do my best, me best to believe. Selvina. I think I ended up clicking off, uh, there. Mm -hmm. Here's the key to the cell. Do you think I'll end up in here for doing this? I doubt it. She is the princess. Mm -hmm. Ha! I stallion sh shall show Louder. you. Ha! I, I stallion shall show you how fast I can run. It, incredible. Kerkif, you run too. You can't. You cannot run that fast, of course. Nay, I cannot run away. No, okay. Nay, I cannot run away. I have to do something about that burning mirror that Valeria was talking about. 
What can you do? I have an idea. Master Tyre, northeast of this village is the village of the dwarves. They must know something. Let's get their help. I agree. Me too. If we don't hurry, there'll be a disaster. We must prevent the burning mirror from being completed. Kirkith, are you going to the, that dwarf country? They say dwarfs eat elves. In particular with ketchup. It's actually, they're actually pretty delicious. How about chipotle sauce? Uh, I prefer sauerkraut and ketchup myself, but who knows. Oh, wait. We're both about six feet. Ah, screw it. Yeah, we still eat dwarves. Anyways, so... Uh, Jet, in particular, likes them with tuna, salmon, and a slight uh, addition of mustard. Sorry, I have to mock this. It It's not bad world building. Actually, it's a really good one. But it's, it's just... It's, it's an aspect of superstition. Superstition and propaganda. Yep. That's just an awful rumor. We should get rid of prejudices like that. Let's go, Master Tyre. Um, wait. Do we have to talk to her? Damn it. We, we don't have time to waste around here. Shouldn't have trusted those elves. I know we're going to lose a party member so that we can get Valeria yeah. in the party. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. Um. <sighs> Boy, this dog. Take me with you, Commander Tyr. I want to help protect this forest. Now say it like you're Cheryl, uh, what was it? Carol Channing. Channing. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Valeria will join po the party. Reduce membership by one. Oh, okay. right. Uh, I said Le Pa. Yeah, she is a short ranged combatant. Yeah, and we have to sh show people what Luke is capable of. Kirk, Kirk. Do you want to come along, Savina? This time, you're welcome to join us. <laughs> I'll stay. I'll wait for you to come back. So promise me you'll return. Promise? I promise. I'll be back. I'll never make you feel sad again. It's a promise. Aww. Guess what? He actually keeps that promise. Darn! That is no place in a dark fantasy story like this. I can't stand this romance stuff. I'm kidding. Alright. So, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. And ring that notification bell. Yep, -ers.